Uh, this is how to connect a static grid to a moving grid. So I've set up a little example here. We can see there is a rotor, an advanced rotor, spinning this to which then goes into another advanced rotor with two connectors going into this cargo. So if I take an item and try and put it in, you can see uh, it is available. So it's properly connected. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So I've set up this. The red parts are the functional parts. So what you need to do first is uh, put another advanced rotor onto your spinning grid or piston. Uh, it doesn't work. Pistons. So put another advanced rotor then get a conveyor tube and thing to red place it so uh that it can do nothing. Yay! Place it like this then place a connector on your static grid or on your moving grid and then you go into the control panel of this rotor the one that you're going to be attaching to and rotor displacement minus 40 centimeters then place a connector on the end of that and then you can place a seat, any seat will work, and then press uh, P to lock the two connectors, and now we're going to get to spinning. So we take this rotor and we're going to, not this, oh yeah, we take the one that's locked and we move move it back for no reason then we take it and the wrong one we take it and then we turn it off then did I do something wrong? okay then going to start spinning the, uh, there see they're both attached so I've connected a cargo container to the reactor and if I go to the reactor get my cargo container it is I can put things in it and I can do it the other way around if I spawn in some uran and uranium ingot. Take it. Set reactor. I can put it into the reactor and it works perfectly. So, oh, be careful if doing this if you're doing this on multiple grids with multiple of these setups. Uh, because now, because if you press P uh, to lock another one, it may explode. It didn't explode that time. Of course it didn't. I'm trying to sell people, it, it doesn't. And that is how to connect a subgrid, the rotor, to a static grid, the cargo container. Ah, uh, good. Bye.